Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about the ammo shortage in America. Okay, uh, the term ammo shortage really is a little bit of a misnomer. People are running out and they're trying to buy ammo and they can't find it. And they're like, oh, I can't find it. I can't find it. They're not making it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I was just at the SHOT Show, the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I spoke with, personally, every major manufacturer of ammunition in the United States of America. Federal, the ATK guys, CCI, Spear, Winchester, Remington, all of them, Corbon, you name it. And it's not that they aren't producing it. They are producing it. They're producing it seven days a week, 24 hours a day. All of the major manufacturers, all the big three, the Winchester, Remington, and Federal guys, they're making ammo every day, all day long. You say, well, how come I can't find it then? We can't find it because all of your friends and neighbors are buying it. People that haven't bought a box of ammo for five years went out and bought a thousand rounds in the last month. Okay? So it's not like, it's like, I live in the South. If you live in the South, you know what I'm talking about. Every time there's a storm brewing around in the Gulf of Mexico, what do people do? They run out to Walmart or Kmart or the grocery store or whatever, and they buy all the milk, they buy all the bread, they buy all the canned goods and all that, okay, because they want to have it. It's not that there's a milk shortage or a canned goods shortage or a bread shortage. It's because when you have the entire population all running out at the same time to buy something, you're going to run out. Now, it's not that they're not making more bread. They are making more bread. It's just the stuff on the shelves is gone. Now, I have a hard time feeling sorry for some of you Johnny-come-lately people. Uh, for three or four years or more, myself and lots of other people have been telling you, look, every payday, you might want to go out and buy a couple of boxes and put them aside. You know, we've been saying it. And it's happened and now people can't get ammo, and they're freaking out. And, you're like, and I, what I have to say is, where have you been? What have you been doing for the last three or four years that you are surprised all of a sudden when you walk into your favorite gun store and you can't get ammo? Uh, my favorite gun store, Cook's Gun Shop in Biloxi, Mississippi, they have handgun ammo. They also have handguns for sale, and what they have had to institute is a ammo with gun purchase because think about it these guys have got guns on the shelves that they need to sell if you come in with your checks or your checkbook and you're like I'm gonna buy all the 45 ACP I can get and they sell you 2,000 rounds of 45 ACP and they walk out well and they've got a dozen 45 ACP pistols in on the shelves they got no ammo to go with it and so what, what Cooks has done they're like right now until they can get more ammunition in is if you buy a gun you can buy ammo if you're just buying ammo, there are only certain things you can get. And people are kind of hacked off by, oh, that's not fair, that's not right. Dude, it is it is what it is. It's business. If you owned a business, if you owned a gun store, uh, you wouldn't sell all of your ammo and then have guns with no ammo to sell. That's like you know selling cars and not having any gasoline to put in them. If you don't need gasoline to put in your car, it's kind of pointless to have a car. So uh, don't panic. Don't freak out. The fact of the matter is is every round of ammunition that is being manufactured today is already bought. It's already sold. It's already been ordered for 6, 9, 12, 14, 18 months out forecasted. They're not warehousing ammo somewhere. They're not making it and sticking it in a warehouse and not selling it. Every major distributor, wholesaler, and retailer in America has orders for ammunition. And it's just going to trickle out. Everybody wants it. And that's just the way it's going to be. So. If you waited until the last minute, I kind of have you know a hard time feeling sorry for you, and patience is now going to become your number one virtue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for all things Student of the Gun, we want you to go to studentofthegun.com, and we would love to have you come train with us at one of our live events. If you want to train with us, go to studentofthegun slash university, sign up for one of our training courses.